Hi there, Jamie Farmer, field agronomist with Pioneer Hybrid here in West Central Missouri. Out here in the field today, just wanted to give a quick update on Japanese beetles and some of the things to look out for when you're scouting for them. So we're out here in West Central Missouri. Obviously we've got some Japanese beetles out here pretty heavy feeding on these silks. We think about Japanese beetles, that's really the biggest detriment they can have for our corn is feeding on those silks prior to pollination being complete. So what you want to do is get out there in your fields, get into the meat of the field, pass the end rows, and really evaluate the severity of Japanese beetles out there in the main part of the field. What you want to look for to see if you've met the threshold is to look for silks clipped within a half inch of the year, three or more beetles per plant, and less than 50% pollinated. And so I'll show you here real quick kind of how to evaluate pollination in your cornfield to see if you're past 50% or if you still got a ways to go. So as you can see, there's quite a few Japanese beetles here. We've got more than six or so there on that. And like I mentioned, the threshold is three. So now we need to evaluate and see if this is greater than 50% pollinated or less than 50% pollinated. So I've removed that ear from the plant that those Japanese beetles were feeding on. And as you can see, they fed the silks down less than half an inch from the tip of the ear. Now the goal to see how far along this particular ear is on pollination is to try to remove the husk without pulling the silks free. So what I like to do is I like to cut at the butt of the ear and then make two slits on either side through the husk to help me peel that back. And then I just gently remove the husk from the ear taking care not to pull any of the silks off myself just gently pull that and what you can see is the kernels that have pollinated the silk will detach from that kernel once it is pollinated the ones that have not pollinated yet the silks will remain attached so if you can gently remove that husk and look you can see well over 50% of the silks have fallen off of these kernels and this sucker is a lot farther along uh, in pollination than 50%. So at this point, even though the Japanese beetles have fed pretty close to within the tip of this year, we're really past any economical impact that they will have that would justify an insecticide treatment. So that's kind of the basis of how you go out there to evaluate the impact of Japanese beetle on your fields. Just as a reminder, the threshold for us would be silks clipped within a half inch of the tip of the year, three beetles or more per plant, and less than 50% pollinated. And I remind you, get past the end rows, get out there into the field, there's usually a lot lower uh, pressure out there in the meat of the field than there is in the end rows. So with that, if you have any other additional questions, you can always go to pioneer.com and look at additional resources or reach out to your local Pioneer sales professional with any questions that you might have on Japanese beetle or any other things you're seeing out there in the field. So thank you for your time. Thank you for listening. We look forward to seeing you out there in the field. That concludes this Pioneer Agronomy video podcast. Visit our page on pioneer.com and follow us on Twitter and Facebook for more agronomy insights.